Well, that's not too bad. I see a rabbit deer. I had one snare left out. I said, uh, <laughs> I left one out ahead of the storm and I tailed in a bit high because there was some fresh rabbit tracks around here and I see some tracks up there so yeah there's still another one here as well so so that's great I'm gonna get this rabbit out and uh, reset and uh, see rabbit tracks here so uh, oh yeah and he went down around right there as well so so yeah I'll get this rabbit out and reset and uh, I guess uh, rabbit's back on the menu <laughs> Yeah, and I showed this uh, in the videos oh, long ago now, like uh, if I know there's a bit of snow in there coming, I just uh, sit the snare higher off the ground and I always puts a stick in under. And so if you get a little bit of snow, you know, you're, if a rabbit come along early, the stick will keep his head up. And if you do get a bit of snow, well, the snare stays in working order uh, a bit longer. And uh, yeah, well, anyway, it worked this time. And well, actually works lots of times. The rabbits are scarce, but I think there's like the uh, the fort one I'm after getting right here now. This snare's a bit long, but that snare that was dried in on his uh, neck pretty tight. Uh, so I'm just gonna take the snare and uh, I'll be getting off after the rabbit ties. And so I'll just flatten it down here in front a bit again. Rising up as we're getting snow. Oh, those sticks I've used before. Yeah, and I always carry around a few extra snares, you know. Yeah. And at least, at least I know there's another one here because rabbits are pretty scarce, you know, in this area, so. So if I had another, if I had another half of those rabbits, I'd be more than happy, you know. And uh, soon be time, you know, to harvest some parmigan. And uh, I was almost gone today, but I'm soon gonna get out and catch a few, a few smilts as well, or get over Molly and catch a few trout. As the days gets longer and starts to warm up a little bit, but on the end of the year now, it's uh, waste conditions are bad, so. Uh, you know, we could have an early spring, so you're gonna have to be careful. So that's why I figured uh, I get at the parmigan now. I usually waste them when the season is almost out, but uh, I need them a little bit earlier in the year, you know, just because uh, you know, safety issues and all that. You want to be the way it was, uh, the way it is. I think the year, you know, the brooks is gonna run early and all that, and wherever they run out into, uh, you know, they're gonna eat away the east really fast, and, and it's not a whole lot of east anyway. and yeah, unless we get some real hard frost, is most definitely going to be in early spring, I guess. Well, I got another uh, snare put back there now, and I should have done this before I got it all fixed away. Just, yeah, you know, all it takes is one lump of snow to come down and hit your snare and put it out of order. So, yeah, uh, I should have. If I max, I give it a tap. Knock a bit out anyway. Put another snare right here. And I got a snare right there. And I got a rabbit in it. And that's the only two snares I got out right now. Just uh, just enough to keep the pot going. You know, I'm not going to get a rabbit here every day. But, uh, but uh, I'm getting uh, what I need or want anyway. And now I'll take this rabbit home, and when he ties, I'll uh, take the snare off and uh, use that one over, just like I'm going to use this one over. Well, I drove the claw, the toenail, the rabbit in my little finger.
let that one reset for when the next rabbit comes along and like i said there's a rabbit home in the pot now and later on next week i'll enjoy this one and before this one's gone there's a good chance you know i'll have another one here so you know to keep the pot going uh he only needs a couple of snares you really and you know the rabbits is even scarce here so uh you know if i was getting some of the bottle up or whatever like that i'll put a few more snares out but uh you know just a couple of snares to keep the pot going and it's working very well my two rabbit snares is up right there uh but look there's a, a fresh rabbit track here so uh so there's uh, still uh, another one left around here oh wait look i got in here <laughs> yeah so there's the only two snares i got out and uh it's definitely keeping the pot going uh i got one tied the skin uh, now to once and this one will clean tomorrow morning so so yeah super and you know it's not a real big rabbit so there could be more here i think it was a another brood coming out i guess not too too long ago seems like uh yeah all that same size rabbit dandy rabbits for eating yum 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 i usually just untoys the snare and takes the rabbit home you know and when he ties the snare comes off a lot easier but uh i always do check first and uh, i think i can get this one as long as i can get the the eye clear and shuffle a little bit of wire through the eye yeah there you go and get the finger in around it and perfect I always I always check my snare and look yeah so just try to spur out my fingers mm -hmm. Yep, rabbit is on the menu now tomorrow for supper. The mother-in-law is here. She's going to make a a rabbit pie. Maybe we'll use two of the rabbits in it, maybe now. <laughs> Just have a bigger pie. <laughs> That's better than one pie, two pies, or a bigger pie. Well, my gloves on. A little bit chilly this morning. Too big. Have you snare too big? You'll get by the hind legs, and then he could bust off your snare. Well, I think that looks pretty good. This right here is the this is the rabbit that I got yesterday. I hadn't in the shade and putting tar overnight there, so I'm gonna clean in here now. Yeah, you know, when I'm out on the land and clean the rabbit, uh, I leave the liver and the heart and everything still up in the rib cage and leave the, the kidneys attached. But I do see there's one missing. I gotta go get in there now. And uh, yeah, so this way, just take the rabbit like that. There's a real good rabbit pet. Rabbit run goes back and forth right there. This is the best pet I've seen in a while. So definitely gonna put a couple of snares on this one. You get your snare, so you want to let me grab a pet here. So you want to come out and tie it off right there, that'd be a perfect spot for a set. Okay, what? Yeah, wind around your wire. Yeah, and again and again. Kind of having to reach, uh, make your circle with the same size as that, look. There you go. And uh, now, my little. Stick that in under the snare. Just keeps his head up. So you don't want to go low. Take that there. And voila! 